And some new developments tonight in the case of Rachel Morin, homicide that happened in Hartford County as it's been more than a month now since the mother of five was found dead right along the trail in Bel Air. And Denise Koch joins us now in the studio with what the Hartford County Sheriff is now saying about this case, Denise. Well, Rick, Sheriff Jeff Galler says, or Gaylor says this is absolutely not a cold case. Detectives are still trying to identify and track down the suspect who is tied to another crime in Los Angeles. Now, we've been showing you this video that investigators released last month, showing the suspect leaving a home. There is a person seen closing the door behind him. Now, the sheriff says investigators have now identified that person. They traveled to California, they conducted interviews, and they said they are confident that person played no role in any crime. Their focus remains on catching the person responsible for killing Rachel Morin. With all we do know about these two crimes, the one in Los Angeles and the one here, my concern is that this killer is escalating. My investigators and I both firmly believe that if we do not apprehend this individual, he will kill again if he has not done so already. Sheriff Gawler says that the sheriff's office, or Gaylor, has received around 600 tips so far. He says they have even looked into claims being made on TikTok. They have found them not relevant to Warren's case. Now, again, a $10,000 reward is still up for grabs if anyone has a tip that can lead to an arrest. And for now, sheriff's deputies will continue to monitor the Ma and Pa trail. Back to you, Nikki.